the feline tongue. It feels like sandpaper, doesn't it? In this video, I'll talk about how the tongue works, what cats use it for the most, and that texture. What's that really all about? Stay tuned. It's all about the papele. Put that on a t-shirt or a mug. <laughs> the feline tongue, papele, makes the difference. Those tiny little spikes on the tongue. Keratin protein, just like our fingernails and a cat's claws. Little hooks, if you will. This is why your cat's tongue feels so very rough. This is also why the feline tongue is capable of doing so many things. Cats use these little hooks on the tongue to grab hold of things. Whether we're talking about fur while grooming, food from the bowl, and even water to some extent. Cats also use the tongue when grooming to regulate overall body temperature. The very tip of a cat's tongue is curled. This shape, combined with the presence of the spikes, almost acts like a spoon and a comb all at once. Using water as an example, a cat will flick the tongue in a darting motion, catching water on the tongue with most every pass. Cats will also do the same with tiny pieces of food and meals that are saturated in various liquids and gravy. Not long ago, researchers at Georgia Tech created a 3D model of a cat's tongue just to see what's really going on. Using the model as a guide, fur was placed on the model and it was simply rolled away by the basic roll of the human finger, mimicking the way that a cat's tongue actually removes loose fur from the body. From the model, it was easy to see why the feline tongue almost acts like both a grabber, but also a sweeper. And as a bit of a fun fact, cats have just under 500 taste buds. Humans, we have roughly 9,000. But cats are obligate carnivores, and if your life is all about that meat-based protein, you don't really need to taste things that are on the high sweet side of life. So, cats don't quite have what we do, but they certainly have what they need. Another interesting aspect to the feline tongue is that the appearance of the tongue can many times serve as the gateway to see just how your cat is doing overall in the health department. A standard pink non-dry tongue is what is considered to be normal. However, if your cat's tongue looks more white in spots rather than pink, is a bit enlarged, it almost appears to be swollen. This could indicate the possibility that an underlying health condition does exist. Also be mindful of any cuts or abrasions to the tongue. As I often say when speaking about health matters, it's important to take in the entire picture, monitor your cat's overall behavior. If an abnormal tongue is being accompanied by lethargy and a refusal to eat and drink, please take your cat to the vet as soon as possible. The feline tongue is rather remarkable, and beyond the meow and the purr, I'd certainly think that a cat's rough tongue would certainly make the list when discussing the unique qualities that are held by a feline. Has your cat ever licked your fingers or the top of your hand? It's a weird feeling, isn't it? Most of the time, if one of my cats graces me with that sandpaper, it's due to an accident. They'll be in the middle of grooming themselves, and then they'll mistakenly start grooming me. Has your cat ever groomed your pants? <laughs> grooming of your jeans. Again, it's weird. The feel and even the sound, depending on the surface. Something about rough little spikes resting against the roof of my mouth isn't something I could ever get used to. Although, if that's all you've ever known, it's probably as comfortable as those jeans, right? If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.